What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kyle Austin once again. So the Black Panther movie is scheduled to debut in about maybe two weeks. And so far, the black women are protesting against it. Why? Because uh, Michael B. Jordan, the star in it, is so-called dating a white woman. And your point is, you're boycotting a movie because the star in it is dating a white woman. And I think about five years ago, black women gave the same hell to that um that guy um the African guy um, who starred in a movie about Martin Luther King. No. Why is it that when a black man date outside his race, which is his choice, it's his choice, he's grown. But when he does it, some black women, not all of you, some black women give that man hell. He's Uncle Tom, a sellout. He can't handle a strong black woman. Y'all give him all kinds of holy hell. And I do understand, sisters, to some degree, in the black community, a lot of black uh, good men are in low supply. But so are some sisters. Now, let's look at it from the other way around. When a black woman dates a white man, she gets cheered on. That's right, girl. You, that's right, girl. You made a good choice because these niggas today ain't shit. So and so and so. That's okay. I'm give you a list of black women dating white men or married to them. Um, right here in New York City. Made it Blasio's wife is black. No problem. No chat, no criticism, no commentary whatsoever. The founder of Star Wars, of Star Wars George Lucas, his wife is black. Legendary actor Robert De Niro, his wife is is black. The legendary author is Alice Walker. Her husband, well, was white. The most famous tennis star in the world, Serena Williams, married to a white man. No criticism. Did anybody boycott tennis? No. No one gave two fucks. It was okay. It's her choice. She's grown. Even back in the 80s and 90s, with the show Dynasty, Diane Carroll, she had two white husbands. Two white husbands. Did anybody boycott Dynasty? No. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. Dr. Maya Angelou. Two white husbands. Did anybody boycott poetry? No. It's always when the black man dates outside his race, he gets hell for it. And sisters, some of you, not all of you, not all of you at all, not even half of you, not even half of you, but some of you, some of you invite a man to date outside the race. You know, it's kind of, you know, it kind of ain't your fault. I'm sorry, it sounds so ghetto. It's not your fault, really, because I just do understand that, you know, most of you are, are raised in a household with no father at home. So, 
how to be feminine to a man. Most of you don't know how. And because of that, that masculine energy you have scare some men away. Not all of you, some scare some men away. And it does. Not all of you, but some of you. But people in 018 and beyond, we can date who we want. In 018 and beyond, people have the right to date, marry, and sleep with who they want to. Now, do I agree personally? Should all black men date all white women? Should all white women date all black men? Vice versa? I don't believe in all that. Because I, I, I do believe that, you know, that's kind of warring down our race to some degree. But it's still their choice. You know? If Michael B. Joy want to date a white woman, it's kind of his choice. And me personally, Michael B. Jordan, he don't come off like no thug. So I'm guessing in his younger years, you know, he's kind of nerdy and everything. And girls rejected him because he was kind of, you know, lame or square, you know. But now that, you know, he got money and power now, now he get a girl of his status. You know, she's, she's very, she's the top 10. You know what? That's his choice and, and also his right. He's grown. Anyway, I'll leave any comments down below. Uh, press like, click subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy the movie.